Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cara and I'm from London. So today, guys, I have an announcement to make. It is a pretty big one for me and I am here, if you can already see, in Dior Harrods changing rooms. And the reason for this is because I... in front of the beautiful ready-to-wear boutique in Dior Harrods. Now let me show you the windows of the moment. Obviously you will see from my last vlog that I showed you the preview of the new collection. This is now in the windows. This is Spring Summer Dior 2024. The backdrop is a wash with the Toile de Jouy Sole print really really stunning guys i mean look at these beautiful glass shelves you've got the gorgeous new d-light bags that's obviously in the camel with the black embroidery what do we think it's a similar color to the plan de paris d-light from last autumn winter those are my beautiful double ankle strap shoes that i tried on in the last vlog this must be the new colorway that i haven't yet seen so this is the blue with the white base on the d-light toile de jouy sole now let's go to the other window guys have a look this is the beautiful skirt that I tried on I was just thinking is that the shirt that I tried on no that's the more dramatic one shoulder shirt which wasn't in stock last week but have a look and enjoy these are the gorgeous ballet pumps I have to say what do you think about these because they do have more of a traditional satin ballet pump this is the grow grain if you look from the side it's got the beautiful straps all the way up the ankles with the raw edge I quite like that myself and then this is the pleated skirt which has a dropped waist this is the new masculine fit blazer it's also got the raw edges guys what do we think about that and then those beautiful shoes let's go around to the other side Oh guys, look at this stunning, stunning display here. So this is obviously the classic 30 Montan trench now in the Toile de Jouy Soleil print in the camel color with the beautiful shoes. I think these shoes are the best shoes on the collection so far with the large book tote. Now let's go through to the other side. And then these are the side windows. So here you've got to the medium size, or is that the large? That's the cream Lady Dior with the canage. Absolutely lovely with the champagne gold hardware. Let's see what this one has. So this has got the D-Light bag as well on the side. So at least if you come in from both angles, you can see the bags. And then now they've got the denim jacket that goes with the skirt that I showed you last time. Anyway, guys, let's go in. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cara and I'm from London. So today, guys, I have an announcement to make. It is a pretty big one for me and I am here, if you can already see, in Dior Harrods changing rooms. And the reason for this is because I was very kindly invited to the Dior Paris Fashion Week show. <gasps> So we are going and we're going very soon. So I thought I would take you with me and vlog wherever I can. I'm not sure when I will have the time or when, where, how, but I will make sure that I share this with you because I know there'll be a lot of wonderful viewers who will love this journey. So come with me. This will be my first Dior fashion show at the Paris Fashion Week. I mean, wow, it's all about Paris Fashion Week, guys. I mean, you know, I love live, breathe fashion. It's part of my career. It's part of what I love. It's part of what I've grown up in. And I am so, so excited. So I'm actually here with these lovely pieces. We've, we're going to be there for a good amount of time. So we are going to be trying on some pieces. I've already got pieces of my own, as you know, but you know, it's Paris Fashion Week. So without further ado, welcome to my fashion show vlog. 
So this is the first tranche of things that I'm trying on, starting with the shoes. I showed you these shoes in the first vlog for the Spring Summer 2024 preview and try on. So these are the ones in black. And we've got the cream bar jacket, which I've always had on my wish list. Might it be the time that I'm going to buy into this? I don't know. And then I have been interested in this beautiful 30 Montan shirt with the CD pearls on the back for some time now now and they starting to bring in the new season denim so i thought while i'm here i'm going to try them on let's see if they fit this is the flared mini skirt with the cd on the back i'll show you that in a moment and these are the flared jeans guys so i've got a few other bits to try on but let's go for these first right guys this is the absolutely gorgeous classic cream bar jacket let me pull you closer so you can hear me so i have wanted this jacket i've had it on my wish list for months and months and months or should i say years and years and years and i finally bit the bullet and bought the black last year but because we're going to the show i have obviously i'm counting down the days before spring starts and we're one month now before spring season starts so I mean, I'm quite tempted to buy this. This would be like an investment piece, as well as obviously being ready for spring when we hit Paris in a few days. Oh, actually, it's more than a few days. And then underneath, I've got the classic 30 Montan shirt with the B here. I will show you that in a moment. And then these are the new season flared jeans, guys. What do we think? They are, I'm actually wearing, before you think, my god she's not usually that tall i am actually wearing the platform shoes with them so if i just lift them up i thought i would try these beautiful shoes on in the black what do we think i showed you them before in the fleur mystique print so yes i will take this off it's very warm in this changing room today and i will show you the other pieces Right guys, so before I take this off, I thought I would show it to you. This is the 30 Montan classic shirt with a beautiful puff sleeve. Although this is a 42, so I'm actually going to see if they have a size 40 just to see because I'm thinking if the puff should actually fit a little bit better and there's a lot of room here when I put my arm down. But I love the idea of wearing it with jeans and yes, yeah, so we're going to try it. And I've also got a long sleeve white shirt that I'll try on, but I'm just going to try on the mini skirt in the denim. Right guys, what do we think of this? I've got the beautiful 30 Montan khaki trench on over my shoulders and the lovely plan de Paris in the D-Joy. You've got the new season skirt, which is called the flared denim mini skirt with the 30 Montan puff sleeve shirt and then new season on the shoes. So I have to say, I love how all these colors go together with the khaki, the beige and the denim. It's perfect for spring. I've been so really excited to try on the denim and the jeans because the quality of the denim is absolutely exquisite. If you haven't tried Dior denim on yet, I really recommend it because if you love your denim as I do, I mean, there's something about the softness of this wash. This is Japanese denim and you have to come and feel it for yourself. It's so soft, it's like second skin, it's non-stretch, but as you wear it, it will completely conform to your figure. So what do we think, guys? I'm going to try a few more bits on. Let me know down below what's your favorite so far. doing so we've done a lot of trying on here today in Dior we're sitting in the lovely room that we always come into so at the moment this room has got crews now and outside you've got the new season spring summer but now it's mum's turn so she's trying on her little bits and bobs and we will see what we settle with oh my gosh it's so surreal because we've got um Today's Wednesday, let's just say, and we already have in our mind what we're wearing, but it all just needs to be put together one more time. So yes, I hope you're enjoying this.
guys let's have a look at new in on handbags so this is the small d joy in a canvas base with the toile de jouy soleil print and champagne gold hardware that's the cream and then there's the delight in the blue base these are the new season oblique book totes with the leather trim what do we think of those quite like these this one isn't my favorite but this is the new logo which is also on the belts more contemporary some more toujours oh they've got the blue in the medium book tote as well i quite like this size on the toujour what do we think Hey everyone, so it's now, I don't even know what the time is, I think we've been here at our appointment at Dior for about six and a half hours. We've had such a great appointment. Our essay is really, really good, like they really know how to outfit you and know how to put outfits together here. It's all about the styling guys, you know, sometimes you can build a collection with a designer brand or any collection from any brand really, but it's how you put those pieces together. and. We have got so many ideas, cannot wait to share them with you. We're now heading down to the ground floor in Harrods because none of us have eaten and for about six, seven hours. So we're going to go and buy something to eat before we head home. Right guys, so this is the food hall in Harrods. So we're heading to our favorite place here. And I didn't tell you this last time, I just showed you the salad. But if you haven't tried these beautiful pasta pots, I really recommend it. So you've got the truffle mac and cheese there, which is heavenly. And then I also recommend the lobster thermidor mac and cheese. But it's enough even if you want to share for two people. So we usually take this home, make some salad and have a dinner. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a very, very wet, dismal, grey, miserable day here in London. This is now Thursday morning and as you've seen, I'm tucked up in my puffer coat because I'm now heading to my nail salon. As you might have noticed already for the last, probably since New Year, actually it was just after Christmas, I had my acrylic nails removed. I know, I know, I shouldn't really do this. It's not good for your natural nails. Yes, I know. But because I'm going back to Paris, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I thought I'd have my nails done again just to treat myself to have pretty nails because my nails don't really grow very long before they start breaking. That's the only reason why I have them done to be honest so I have given them a breather for about six weeks and we're going in fact I'm running a bit late so let me stop this now and I'll see you on the other side hey everyone so I've just had my nails done I'm so excited quick little preview of them here really quite clean and contemporary and oh my goodness the weather has gone from worse to worse it's so dark, dismal and dreary, honestly. I'm crossing all the fingers that Paris is going to be much better than this. I mean, it is predicted to rain in the morning, I think, on Monday. And we've got sunshine on Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's got to be better than this, surely. We've got one month left to spring, one month less one day now because it's the 22nd today. So anyways, I'm going to go home and sort my hair out because it's all tucked in here because of the rain and I will catch you later. Hey everyone, so I thought, let me just share a few little thoughts in my head as I'm driving because, you know, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you will know how enthusiastic I am about fashion and clothing and Dior and um, I just can't believe that I was invited. I, it's an absolute dream come true. I'll be going with mum. I mean, it's Paris Fashion Week, guys. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people who will be watching my vlogs who have already gone to Paris Fashion Week and who go to all of the fashion weeks for that matter. But for me, this will be my first fashion week in Paris with Dior. I mean, wow. Well, that alone you know so I thought I would share this with you and take you around also rather than just share once I'm in Paris I will film wherever I can in the lead up to it because it is very exciting I am currently on a Thursday afternoon now and you know it doesn't quite yet feel real I mean we've sorted some outfits out yesterday and we had some styling with Dior which was also a magical day with mum that, that these are memories to be cherished honestly because as I've 
said to you before, my mother used to be a fashion designer and to be able to go to a trip like this with her, you know, I remember the days when I was quite young in my formative years under the age of eight and she would be cutting her patterns, making her twirls. She used to do bridal wear. I mean, the, 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 the stories are very long, but in a nutshell, to go to Paris with mum, with Dior, at Paris Fashion Week, kind of makes it feel like, wow. You know, because of my mother, I have basically been very influenced from a, from a young age, from the way that she would sketch, to sew, to design, you know, to, to try on her clients, her, her styles and designs on her clients. I've seen all of it. So it just kind of makes it all the more sentimental, very special. And I know that my Dior essays and all of them, honestly, they, they totally understand how much this means to us both. So yeah, I'm probably going to be saying thank you to them throughout the trip, to be honest with you. And you know, I can't wait. So I thought I would just share little tidbits as we go with this vlog. I don't know how this vlog will come out, to be honest. Don't know how I'm looking in the camera, to be honest. And I hope you enjoy this journey with me and mum. I will go now because again, a little bit emotional, but yes, enjoy this journey with us.